We're courtside here at the WEC after the Highlanders and Jacksonville played for a second time this season. Dolphins on the road get the 65-54 win. I'm Matt Province. We're joined by the top assistant here at NJIT, Jeff Rafferty, for this edition of the Raff Report. Raff, I'm not exactly where, I'm sure where to start. It seems to me like, you know, again, at the end of the day, shooting percentages at home didn't really convert on a high rate shooting the basketball. Is that the area where you think back of this game that was the biggest deficiency for the Highlanders? Yeah, we didn't. Um, offensively, we were, I mean, there was six six minutes to go in the second half, six minutes to go in the game. I think we had scored seven or nine points in the half. We just really, really struggled to score the ball. We shot 29% in the second half. Um, that seemed to be the dilemma today. Um, you know, when Zach doesn't score the ball, we, we tend to struggle. Um, Zach and San Antonio were combined 11 for 29, I think, 11 for 30 today. So that's not a good recipe for us. Um, yeah, we're just, we're, we're, uh, we're struggling to put full, complete games together, and, and our margin of error is, uh, is slim, is slim. So, um, yeah, tough afternoon. Anything particular that Jacksonville did on the defensive end that you thought was uh, a key well, to contributing to the lower percentage? For whatever reason, we, we have a tough time matching up with these guys. We have the last couple of years. We've been in dog fights with them every game. I think before uh, before we us playing them down there early last month, I think it had been six games in a row that were decided by like three points or less. So they're always really competitive. Um, but the reason being, I you know they have great length um, across the board. Um, other than the small guard Santos, they have great length, they have great toughness. Um, so they're physical defenders, and then they're uh, they're tough to guard. They look to to drive the ball to the hoop, and uh, they're just a tough physical team that we, for whatever reason, um, are having a tough time with this season. There's got to be something, uh, some type of uh, silver lining to the cloud. Uh, you know, again, there were a few good moments by LeVar Williams, who's trying to make a little bit more statement for playing time, etc. Had a big three-point play at one point, followed up a miss. But when you look at the game as a whole, is there any area right now immediately before you even go back and look at the tape? You said, okay, well, I like this. What would that this be? Well, I, I just think for us to be good, um, you know, we're down a couple guys. We have been, we have been the, the entire year. I just, we got to consistently, you know, get two or three guys to play well on the same day. And... You know, when you don't when you, when you don't shoot the ball, you put so much pressure on your defense. And, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, when you when you don't shoot the ball well, you, you're just putting so much pressure on your defense. And there's games that we've defended well and haven't shot the ball well, and there's games we've we've played good offense and haven't been as good defensively. So we just we got to keep fighting and keep getting better. And, you know, we put ourselves in a little bit. The league's still wide open, but we put ourselves in a little bit of a hole by dropping a couple here at, at home. Now we got to go on the road and try to try to steal one next weekend. And, and uh, a lot of season left, uh, you know, but we got to continue to uh, to work hard and, and hopefully the results change a little bit. There was a point in the season where I thought, you know what, this team really needs a victory. And it was after the loss at Jacksonville the last time, 10 straight Division One losses. It was at North Florida, a very good team. You went down there, you took care of business, never wavered. When you guys play 40 minutes, you typically do 10 to play incredibly well. I feel like this point might be this next game at Lipscomb, the significance of trying to get things reeled in at the point of the season we're at when you take the court next time on Thursday. Yeah, we're going to have to you know, play well. Lipscomb, that's, that's quite a place to play and, and great tradition down there. Obviously, they're a little bit down this year and, and uh, very different, but... but uh, you know, we played well against them up here last month, and, and we're going to have to go down there and get a tough, you know, road win against a, a veteran team, a gritty team. Um, you know, because because after that we go to, to you know league leader Liberty on Saturday, so it doesn't get any easier. Um, we need to continue to scratch and claw, and and, uh, and hopefully things will turn. Well, one thing that I can say about the Highlanders when they've been in these situations, not just this year, but you know what I'm talking about. There have been times in years past where when they really got to bear down, it seems like there's been an ability by the guys in the current roster to get things done. Let's hope that it's going to take place starting Thursday down uh, in Tennessee because obviously, like we said, that's going to be a big one to try to stop the, the bleeding, if you will, and try to garner back a little positive momentum. Yeah, and we got, you know, Riley and... Shaquan Gibbs and Riley and Zach Cooks and San Antonio Brinson, those guys have played a lot of minutes, you know what I mean, in, in a lot of games. So um, this is their team, and, and um, we need to try to right the ship here and, and, as I said, continue to improve, but hopefully, you know, steal, steal some wins down the stretch to improve morale and, and get ready, give us a little momentum heading into the conference tournament later this month. Do me a favor, and if you find that there's an extra seat on the bus or plane or room in the hotel, 
Give me a call. I, I got, actually got places to stay in both, both towns, Nashville, Lynchburg, Virginia, where I spent seven years. Think about me. Maybe we, take me with. I, I, can, I can help change the momentum, I think. I think I can help you. We'd love to have you. You know that. We'd love to have you. I'm gonna play hook Anytime. I'll, I'll call off tomorrow for Thursday and Friday. But regardless, the Islanders are back in action Thursday at Lipscomb. And then, of course, the Saturday game at Liberty we talked about. Best of luck getting back into the win column. And thanks again for your time. Thanks. All right, that is top assistant Jeff Rafferty. I'm Matt Province, and I want to thank you for watching this most recent edition of the Raff Report.